You're on a call with the prospect, the call's going very well and you're feeling confident. This is it. This guy will close and become my first client. You picture everything, what you're gonna do with the money and how this is going to start your entrepreneurship journey. And suddenly you hear this. Sounds great, but can I see some case studies or previous results? In that very moment, your heart sinks. You feel the weight of the world on your shoulders because you know it's another missed opportunity. This is a very common situation to be in and one I've faced many times before. So in this video, I'm gonna be sharing how you can get clients without case studies. Guys, this is a reminder, if you haven't already, go register for the event. We are so, so close and it isn't something that you want to miss. Now, I get it. Getting this objection sucks and can be incredibly demotivating when it happens over and over again. Over the past 12 months, I've helped over 100 people start a lead gen agency and sign their first clients, and some did this in as little as five days. So let's get started so you could sign clients with ease and not get this common objection. So there's a few simple reasons people ask to see case studies and they're very easy to fix. The first one being they don't believe your solution will work for them. For example, if you sell Facebook ads or appointment setting with YouTube ads, maybe they've tried it before and it's left a bad taste in their mouth. This is a big reason I couldn't close deals when I started my agency. My pitch was Facebook ads and even though I knew they worked and I could get results, often prospects would tell me they've tried it before and they didn't see results which then made them not believe it would work for them again. After all, they tried it already, so why would I make a difference? The second reason is they may not believe that you're the right person to get them the results they want. Maybe in their eyes, you're not qualified enough. Actually, I came to find out this was a reason that one of my clients I followed up with for 12 months didn't work with me in the beginning. I was just starting out, I reached out to a big real estate broker in LA, got his own Netflix show and everything, great guy. But we went back and forth for months and his objective was recruiting agents to his brokerage. He was already running ads for lead generation, recruiting, promoting his brand, but the issue was I wasn't qualified since I didn't have experience in what he wanted. I actually went out and got some certificates from Google and Facebook showcasing I'd done their ads training where if you complete it, they give you a nice little certificate. Looks like, looks super professional and, and legit. And as soon as I got them and showed him that, we got on a call together and I ended up signing him on as a client and got incredible results. The next reason is your offer is simply not compelling enough. This could mean the risk to reward isn't there or there's just no clarity on the outcome. If the prospect isn't 100% sure, they won't commit because doing something is riskier than doing nothing. This is also very common and they may tell you everything is great, but this is why most prospects don't sign. If they truly were 100% sure of you and your service, they would sign on. So now we have the reasons why they give you these objections. Let's go through how we can actually Actually solve these issues to help you sign clients with ease. Confidence is everything. If you're confident, you can basically do whatever you like. You often see videos of people where they wear a high-vis shirt or a, or a vest with a ladder or something like that and they walk confidently into a theater or anywhere and just get let in. Why? Because they're confident. When you're pitching your service, you need to be confident. Now, this is easier said than done, especially in the beginning when you're a beginner. However, if you conduct your market research correctly and you've got a strong offer that you know people want and need, this will give you confidence you need to sell people. If a prospect doesn't trust the idea of Facebook or Google ads or whatever you use to get results, show them how it works. Show them why it's powerful, not tell them. Show them the difference from what they have done before and what you're going to do. Now, this is a secret and it's my favorite thing for beginners to do is to make up mock-up ads in your presentation. Show their competitors and what they're doing compared to the prospect and share with them dummy campaigns that you would run for them and give them an overview on how it works, why it works, and they will automatically trust what you're saying. When you do this right, you never have to handle the objection of, do you have case studies or testimonials anymore? Because they already see you can do what you're talking about. You're giving examples, you're giving free value, and you're talking about the strategy. You don't need to have even worked with any of the competitors. But if they're running ads, screenshot them, explain to them what they're doing. I don't see people doing this, but it's what's worked for me for years. I personally like to use three examples, and the examples I use often are some of the most well-known businesses in the industry and in the same city as the prospects, so they know who I'm talking about. I also like to just simply break down the maths. 
All right, John, so if I give you X appointments or X qualified prospects, what's your closing rate? Okay, great, and what's the average deal size? Or, you know, how much do you make? Okay, awesome, so if I give you X and you close Y, then you're gonna make Z, correct? Yeah, that's correct. You see where I'm going with this. This makes it feel real for them and allows them to see, okay, if they achieve only a small part of what your offer is, they're still going to make money. So there you go, guys, a quick video on how you can sign clients without case studies. Remember to register for the live event. We are so close and I can't wait to see you all there. I'll see you in the next video.